buy a sleeping bag, okay? If you don't have one, go buy a sleeping bag. Now, understand, all summer, we have had floods everywhere here in the U.S. They have floods in other countries. China's had floods. Everybody's flooding in the world. Global warming is affecting us. The President of the United States is trying to do everything he can to put it in check. We've got other countries put it in check. They know something we don't. And it is tearing our weather apart. We have used and abused our planet for so long, Mother Nature is fighting back. Keep that in mind. Believe me or not, you cannot argue about how many floods we've had this summer. The Farmer's Al Almanac says we are going to have a, hor a horrible winter. You can go check it. I don't know how they're going to predict that, and that would be in normal weather. But we're not having normal weather. And remember when Texas had it bad? When Texas uh, ended up cold and things didn't work and things got shut off? They had people die. A few years back, we had people on the Tennessee Highway here, State Highway, that iced up and nobody could travel. And basically, they had to shut their vehicles off and they had to run to a building, to a Lowe's. It happened to be nearby. And Lowe's opened their doors and they all slept in there all night. They couldn't get up. They couldn't go. Good thing Lowe's were there. These people weren't prepared at all. Winter's around the corner. Today was the first day of fall. Usually everybody gets a cold snap on Halloween is usually when it gets cold. Now, I'll link to sleeping bags at Amazon at the bottom. Click it, go have a look around. You can filter it on the left. You want to buy a sleeping bag for how cold you get. If you get down to minus 10, you want to get a sleeping bag for minus 10 or better, minus 20. The problem is when you go on sleeping bags cold, they start to get expensive. The lighter, the better they are, the more expensive they are. But if you're just going for a sleeping bag in your house or in your vehicle and you're not carrying it in your sleeping bag on your back in a knapsack, then you can get one probably for 100 bucks. I mean, you can get them at garage sales, Goodwills, if you look around. Now's the time to start looking. And um, I've gotten sleeping bags for 20 bucks at uh, garage sales. Anytime I've ever seen one I bought, I probably own about 20 sleeping bags. People say, oh my God, it's a lot of sleeping bags. No, it's not. I put it up on the shelf. They're there. I am not going to freeze. And that's all there is to it. The power goes out. Uh, anything goes out. I'm not sitting there with my hands in here going, what now? Sure, I got generators. I got all kinds of stuff. But one thing's for sure, go back to the basics. You know, I've slept in hammocks, I've slept in tents, I've slept in, you know, 20 below. And uh, having a good, when you're sleeping in tents, you have to have a good mat. Or when you're sleeping in hammocks, you have to have something under your hammock. Um, but you're in the house, you're in a vehicle. Cover the first thing, being in a house and the power goes out, being in a vehicle and the power goes out. Cover the first two things. You know, because this is real life. And real life says, we have a chance that you're not going to have heat. And if that happens, you need something that's going to keep you warm for 24 hours or longer. And that means if you get a good sleeping bag and you put it on your heck, if you got a wife and kids and you get two sleeping bags, make sure when you unzip them, they unzip all the way around and they unfold like a queen size. When that happens, you can put two, one on top of each other, and now you can sleep underneath with your spouse and use body heat and the sleeping bags to stay warm. But you'll be very comfortable. There's been many times I've slept in a tent or a hammock and I didn't have enough, as we call it, loft to stay warm inside my uh, quilts. And what ends up happening as the night goes on to 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in, in the morning, your body starts to shiver and you start to shake. And your body's shivering to try and generate heat because you're at the point of being too cold. And usually when that happens, you're forced to get out of your hammock or your tent and you're forced to walk over and start a fire and put your clothes all on and warm yourself up. In the daytime it warms up, so now you can go get some sleep. But 
really dialing in that system in a sleeping bag of a hammock or a tent is very difficult and that takes experience. But in your house and in your car, it doesn't. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You know, buy the warmest sleeping bag you can buy for the money and put one in your vehicle. You're not going to regret it. And if you break down or you're in the snow, everybody in the north should know this. When I lived in Minnesota, we always carried heavy-duty blankets, sleeping bags. Um, when we left, we took water. I mean, we took a lot of things with us when we went from one city to another. Because in Minnesota, it can get down minus 40 below. Now, I never broke down. At that time, I drove a 20-year-old pickup truck, a Chevy. It never let me down. It never broke down. Every other thing broke on the truck. You know, the windows thing, every little, little things. But it never broke down where it left me hanging. But I did carry a lot of stuff in my vehicle in case we did, because we had kids. I thought, you know, if I break down minus 20 below, and there were times I was driving down the highways like that, and I was saying, boy, I break down. You know, you can't keep turning your vehicle on and expecting that gas to last forever to keep yourself heated. You know, I had sleeping bags to put on and keep us warm. So... Really think about that. Our weather is nuts. If you're prepping for anything right now, you should be prepping for weather. And with winter right around the corner here, being that this is the first day of fall, think being warm. Very important. Also think about water in the vehicle. Now, you can't leave it out there in the winter. It'll, you know, it'll freeze and crack and everything else. You have to actually take a case of water with you when you leave. You just can't leave it in the vehicle. And uh, that's just the way it is. Or you get a jug with water and you fill it halfway. And this way, if it freezes, then, you know, it's not going to crack the jug. But you need those two things. You need warmth and you need water. And that'll keep you going for quite a long time. But don't think this winter is going to be something to no big deal. I'm betting you're going to see a lot of people with no heat, you're going to see a lot of people dying, and you're going to see a lot of people where that didn't have to happen, where they could have just bought a $50 sleeping bag. And that's the sad part. And you'd be surprised how many preppers out there don't have a sleeping bag because they don't camp. They don't, you know, they love to talk, but they really don't have the basics. And having a sleeping bag for everybody in the house, especially your kids, your wife, if you got kids at home, is very important. It's not fun to freeze. It's very uncomfortable, and it's not very good. Now, another trick to use, I, we use it when we're backpacking, is if you're getting cold and you're shivering, eat something. Believe it or not, when you eat something, your body's working overtime trying to digest it, which in turn creates heat. All these little tricks help. I've even taken water bottles, stainless steel water bottles, and heated them up in a fire, put the tops on, put them inside a wool sock and threw them in the hammock with me. Using your head to stay warm is very important. But cover the basics. Get a sleeping bag. Doesn't matter what it is, make sure it's cold and it'll handle cold temperatures for you at home and in your vehicle. And you're not going to be so scared. Because I'll tell you, freezing to death, that's not a real happy experience. Heck of a lot cheaper to go buy a couple sleeping bags for the family than it is to freeze to death and die. Like I said, I'll have a link in the bottom to Amazon for all the sleeping bags. You can filter it on the left, but you can get them anywhere if you look around. And uh, you got questions, hit the comment section. A lot of guys will answer them. And a lot of guys know this stuff and help you out, not just me. But if you don't have one in your car or you don't have them in your house, winter's coming, you got a month to get shit together, I don't care. Take your credit card and go charge a couple. You'll find out if winter hits hard, you were ready, it'll be worth it. Catch you guys on the next one.